Mary here and I'm back with another video. So today's video I will be giving all of my new squishy collectors a beginner's guide to squishy collecting. So basically I'm going to be explaining some of the squishy vocabulary. I will be explaining my favorite websites to order squishies from and some squishies I recommend for being new at squishy collecting. Anyways, let's go ahead and get on with the video. So first off, let's go over some squishy vocabulary. Licensed, rare, slow rising, soft, dense. And there's plenty, plenty more. That's just the five main ones. First is licensed. What is a licensed squishy? Squishy by a specific brand. So for example, I have this Yummy Bear squishy right here and it's licensed and you can tell because on the bottom it says Creamy Candy 2018. It will always say the brand name and it will also give the year that it was made. And another way you can tell is if it has a tag, it will say, it will usually say the brand on the tag and it will say like, again, like the year it was created. So this is a licensed squishy by Creamy Candy and it's a Yummy Bear squishy. And Yummy Bear is like the Creamy Candy mascot. What does rare mean? Some of you guys already watching this video might already know what rare means, and that means it's hard to find. But how can a squishy be rare? It's a piece of foam. How can it be rare? Some squishies, like this one, are rare because they were created, this one was created in 2009. And if you go on a basic squishy website, um, I will list a bunch of the links to squishy websites down below in, in the description box but um, they will not have the squishy on those websites because you will not find it anymore because it's old, it's made in 2009, so um, if you look on basic squishy websites, they will have all the new squishies, they will not have this one. There's two other words I forgot about, and this can get a little confusing. I remember when I was new to collecting squishies, I was so confused. What is reproduced and non-reproduced for squishies? Squishy bear. I can't talk. Two brands like to do this thing where they create a whole batch of squishies. And this is like their first time, let's pretend this is just their first time making a batch of pineapple squishies. Since it's their first time making this new batch of squishies, they might be a little dense. That is a non-reproduced squishy because it's the very first, ba first batch they've ever made of that um, collection of squishies. And then they're like, okay, let's add a scent to this squishy, to these squishies, or let's add, let's make it more slow rising, let's make it more soft. So what they do is they make changes to the squishy, maybe change the packaging. They can change little things about it and then create a whole second batch. And the first batch is not sold in stores anymore. It's the second batch, which is called reproduced. These are reproduced squishies. And you can tell because the date says later in time. This is 2018, or sorry, this is 2017, and the other squishy was 2009. So that's how you can tell this is a reproduced squishy. There can be multiple batches of reproduced squishies. There can be the second reproduction, there can be a third or fourth or fifth reproduction. And next, what does slow rising mean? So this one I'm gonna kind of quickly go over because I feel like it's kind of obvious. Slow rising means when you press down on the squishy and let go, it takes a while for it to come back to its original shape. And soft basically means it's easy to press down on. It feels like you're squishing a pillow or a marshmallow. It's just, it doesn't take much effort to press down on it. And dense is the opposite. It means it's like more stress ball-like and very hard to press down on. And it feels like your fingers will hurt after squishing it for a long time. Now I will be going over some of my most recommended squishies for new squishy collectors out there. All right, so first is anything from Banggood. I love Banggood. They have such amazing squishies. I will link Banggood and all my favorite squishy websites down below in the description box. You guys totally need to click on those links. This is not sponsored or anything. I just love all those squishies from each website, so click the links down below. I like anything from Banggood, any squishies from Banggood, but there's some specific brands that I really like, and I'm just gonna quickly go over those. My first favorite brand from Banggood is Vlampo, and this is one of the Vlampo squishies, and 
it's super soft and super slow rising and squishies can have scents too this one smells really good i'm not really sure if it's scented honestly i can't really tell next is aridi and here's one of the aridi squishies and this is the aridi apple sorry i keep saying aridi it's probably really annoying <laughs> so it's super soft and super squishy and it smells so good like the smell kind of went away but when i got it it smelled amazing my last favorite brand of squishies that are sold on banggood is this mouse on a cheese and this is by Keybrew. and this is a cute little mouse on blue cheese it's so adorable and it's so slow rising too As some of you might already know, Banggood is based in China. And I don't know about you guys, but I live very, very far from China. If you don't live near that area, it's fine too. It just might take a little bit longer for the squishies to come. Let's say you're impatient like me. I'm extremely impatient and I just want my squishy packages to come, especially if it's my very first ever squishy package. I recommend you to order from jennalynsquishies.com. That's Jenna, L-I or L-Y-N squishies.com. They ship within two days. It is amazing. For me, um, it's based in Texas. I live in, in like central US. It takes like for me five days at the max for it to get to my house, which is really really good because like Banggood it can take like a week or two, but this website it takes me five days at max, which is absolutely amazing. Also, I totally recommend you guys to order the 20 pack of squishies on Amazon. They will have like basically 20 pieces of random common squishies and I'm just gonna show some of the squishies that are in those packs like examples of some of them. So first is this Panda Toast. And these are all random, so like you may not get these exact squishies that I'm showing, but uh, I'm pretty sure you can get them on Amazon Prime, which takes about two days to come, I'm pretty sure, um, which is really, really good. And the super cute cat. It's basically all these common squishies. If you're very new to squishy collecting, buy some common squishies. They can be up to five dollars. They can get pretty big sizes too. So that is it for my beginner's guide to squishy collecting. Thank you guys so so much for watching this video. I hope this video cleared some things up. If you have some more questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. I would love to answer some more questions for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.